here at Cottonwood Lakes Trailhead once again. A cool and blustery morning. I'm gonna do a little warm-up hike today for a great big hike tomorrow to Picket Guard Peak. Got here about 10.30 last night. Slept right here in the parking lot. Gonna be heading south a little ways to a little SPS peak called Mua Mountain. Just crossed over the little high point of the road right here. Heading down toward the Cottonwood Pass Road. And ultimately Mulkey Pass, which is right there. Trail pass should be the one on the right. Looks like you got the main herd over here. And a few outcasts over here. They were definitely watching me as I walked by. They're back to eating now. Here we are at Mulkey Pass. I'm not going to make the mistake this time that this is a four-way junction. That's where I came from just now. And that's where I want to go. That's where I accidentally went last time with Jim. And then that way heads over to Trail Pass. That's probably where I'm going. Even though the wrong way was a shortcut last time, it'll put me a little too far to the right. There's a launch way in the back, and my potential secondary target playground today, Shark Nose Ridge, if I have time and I feel like it. The trail's still leading me closer, and it's probably about to turn off to the right, so I'll probably be leaving it pretty soon. This is interesting. I was just about to leave the trail up there, but I noticed it looked like a trail going off this way. So I thought maybe the trail bended that way, but no, it looks like a junction. Not marked except by that rock stack. PCT goes on this way, it looks like. Well, I wasn't on the trail for very long, but it looks like it's heading downhill. And Mua Mountain is over here. So the trail could be going down to the meadow or Diaz Creek is down that way too, so I guess I'll go ahead and go off trail now. 
This looked like trouble. Tall willows and probably muddy grass. Fortunately, though, I was able to skirt right above the edge of it. No problem. Well, here's where the map shows a little creek. And here's another wall of willows. Doesn't look too bad, though. I can probably just push on through. Doesn't look like I can go over the top very easily. Okay, that wasn't too bad. Short, thank goodness. So now we should be on the base of the mountain itself, so time to go up, up, up steeply. Getting up there, but still have about 300 or 800 feet to go. Should be even nicer views from the top. You can already see down into Owens Valley a little bit. Looks like I'm almost there, but I know I'm not. view of Owens Lake from here. Langley. I think those are lenticular clouds. Caused by high winds going over mountains. There's a launcher. Mountains that might be Mount Inyo and Keenot and a few others where you get to New York Butte and Bronx Butte. That should be the one I climbed earlier this year. It's part of my exploration of the roads up there. I think that one's Telescope Peak. Should be about as high as I am now. I know it's in the 11,000 range, although I'm just barely at 11,000 feet here. That should be the Highway Reservoir. Here's the register, not very old, but I did find a few familiar faces. Looks like some Borns and Mihai. Met him this year on the challenge. And Bob Pickering. Like Scott Hansen did this on day 10 this year, instead of the long march up to uh, Sky Blue Lake Peak. Looks like I just missed Bill Carpenter. 
in about six days. And finally, here's me. I was having trouble with the pen, so I switched the pencil. Okay, I'm off the summit and onto some sand. by a couple saddles that I could see on the topo map. Not a lot of views as usual, thanks to all the trees. I should still need to head this way. Okay, looks like I found the trail. No shark nose ridge for me today. Looks like a few summits to play around on over there. Another time. Gotta get back and get dinner and get to bed. Just close the loop here. I guess in retrospect, I probably should have gone the other direction. Up the more gradual slopes and down the sl steeper, slippery stuff. Oh well, next time. Back at Mulkey Pass. Should be just a short trot down to the parking lot. Then I gotta go to the other parking lot, of course. I don't see the cows anymore. Someone must have moved on. And I'm back. A little later than I'd hoped, but that's the way it goes. Not too bad of a warm-up day. Time to cook dinner and head off to bed early.